So essentially, you're just uh, filling those gaps in with with lead bar. Yeah, melting a bit of the um, the heat that it sort of melts into the link. Hopefully, um, you certainly don't want a bad link. We have very few bad burns. But... So you kind of melt it down a little bit and then fill the top. Up. Yes, yeah. yeah, gets filled with lots of it like that. Fill the top so you can so it's, it's get on video. And the other method is to put a tray under there and kind of or a mold. Yeah, a mold like that that um, stops it. But that seems to work very well. It, it's well, you've got to be a bit more um, mindful because it. it's quite thin. The plastic. There, so you got to, that, 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 that part there. So you've got to actually make sure you don't melt that away. That's the main thing. You're talking about the post coming up or the link? No, I'm just talking about the the link. That, it melts that away. melting away, the thinnest yeah. part. You know, you get too much heat because it gets to a certain point and it just. Yeah. So that's the mold version of it, huh? So if you put too much on the side, it holds the whole thing together. Yeah. You can put you can put a bit more heat on there without fear of it sort of destroying itself. So if you're a less capable welder, it's probably safer. So you generally get a rim on top, so you've got a bit of conduct not conductivity on the top yeah. as well. Yeah, that's really neat. So you're melting that, that post down a little bit flatter, and then you fill the top area. Yeah. It's important to get the lead so it drops right down so there's right. the maximum conductivity. A bad world you only find the top done. Of course you gotta be careful you don't damage the jar, the plastic yeah. part of the jar. That has to happen fairly quickly. Good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.